Hi, my name's Nicole Batten and I'm a grain and livestock farmer from Yuna on a Batten family farm. My perfect day would be to wake up early and go for a run. So something that burns a bit of energy. <laughs> There are four of us living on the farm, as well as children. We're very much a team effort. We all have different roles, but we're joint decision makers in most of the things that we do. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a sister, I'm a, I'm a cousin. We're all of those things, but ultimately uh, I am a farmer. I'm quite visible most of the time and I make myself visible because I like to be involved and I like to take on new opportunities and have a say in our industry and have a say in our future. Right, that was the one. Yeah, I'll just chuck that over. You come this side, Nick. Women in the times of my mother-in-law, well, she was a young bride when she first came to the farm at 19. She was housebound and wasn't involved much in the business at all, let alone, you know, assisting in the paddock. So, yeah, times have certainly changed. Right, very good. Farming's certainly a male-dominated industry. Largely women are underrepresented, definitely in leadership positions. So, um, you know, I think we're working at it, but um, there's, a, there's a long way to go in some areas. There's so much that goes on in the office now, whereas it used to be, you know, you pretty much all your work out in the paddock. There's just a lot of business orientated decisions and, and calculations. I keep an eye on the prices every day. I have a spreadsheet on our current contracts. I can see exactly what's coming in in real time. The pressures, I guess, are a lot greater than they used to be in terms of the speed. The information we collect on an hourly basis, whether it be weather, or whether it be harvesting your crop, there's just so much data out there. So that's tricky. Farming is high tech and I don't think we have much of a choice with that. We do our own grain marketing. Relating grain marketing to the stock exchange is probably the best way for most people to understand what we do. You need to have your finger on the pulse because that could be big money you lose if you miss a good price. G'day. Hi. I do find myself <laughs> jumping on the header every now and then to have a conversation with Jason because we don't often cross paths long enough at home to be able to make decisions. So essentially, just have APW, ASW, noodles, and then your hearts. Yeah, okay. <coughs> the challenge always with farming is connectivity. We're in a vast area, the population's not huge. Service providers, you know, need to make money as well. But to be able to collect data, you need connectivity. To interpret it, you need connectivity. To use it, you need connectivity. That's the biggest challenge for farmers. One, one bar might not be strong enough to open the app. No, it appears not. It's the world we live in. We have to be able to connect. Everyone calls your mobile phone and if they can't get you, then you know you lose business or you lose opportunities. Via that antenna to give it reception and put it all the way back into this app for us. Running a family farm business, it has its challenges, but what comes with it is the community comes with farming, so the community you live in as well is just as important as, as the business you run. The grain industry is a, a vast area, so we connect virtually into each other's office no matter where we are, you know, every second day. It doesn't mean that they're not important businesses. Okay. And, and there's growth potential for this state, and so they're also... I've been a farmer for 20 years, and the rural population's probably halved since then. 
Oh, my internet's shocking. And that's sad because the next generation, uh, you know, I really fear for their uh, sense of isolation and uh, loss of community services. I'm sure every town's lost either a hospital or a pub or essential community meeting places. You know, at the end of the day, you can't farm without people and you need to have happy, healthy people to have a happy, healthy business. And I think that's underestimated. Oh, very good. For me, you know, going for a run in the morning or play sport with our kids is incredibly important for my own mental health as well as just getting that family time together as well. At the end of the day, you can't move forward without optimism. And I think farming, that's one of the key traits of, of farming as well. If you're not an optimist, you shouldn't be here and you probably won't last long.